Hello, and welcome to the 10-minute guide to CATIA KnowledgeWare template-driven design. The objective is to provide a very quick overview of the CATIA KnowledgeWare capabilities and products that allow a template-driven design approach and the many values this provides. The target audience for today's session is the existing CATIA version 5 customer base, whether you use the CATIA Classic portfolio or CATIA PLM Express. We hope and expect this will provide a nice overview and that you'll contact us if you have any questions or if you'd like any additional information. We could talk about this topic of CATIA template-driven design for an hour or more, but of course we'd have to change the title. So we'll keep the presentation at 10 minutes plus a two and a half minute AVI file. Let's move on. So let's start by asking a simple question. What is CATIA template-driven design? It allows CATIA users and organizations to easily and interactively capture engineering know-how and methodology for highly efficient reuse across various disciplines. In addition, it helps organizations such as yours to share best practices and avoid duplication of effort due to the inability to reuse existing designs because they are too complex, too difficult to understand, or too hard to find. And the nice thing here is that it is achieved without the need for skilled programming resources. This ensures that all engineers and designers can instead participate in knowledge sharing and capture activities and design processes within the organization. What business problems does template-driven design solve? Industry knowledge and company intellectual property is located in silos and therefore is not effectively shared with new users or even experienced users across various disciplines. Information is lost as employees leave the company, whether through retirement or going to another company. And I think we all agree that designers and engineers spend far too much time on repetitive design tasks when they should be focusing on innovative product designs. After all, that is their value and why your company has hired them. Let's now discuss the core business values around template-driven design. First and foremost, reduce product development costs to stay competitive. In other words, be faster by capturing, sharing, and reusing corporate expertise and IP. Increase quality by validating and enforcing industry or company standards compliance. Again, reusing proven designs that are based upon your company's standards and intellectual property. Get to market faster by automating repetitive tasks. Your products have a higher value and your market share is improved when you get to market on time. The whole idea of template-driven design is that it is both versatile and scalable in that it can be applied to any discipline, such as design, analysis, manufacturing, electrical, but also across these same disciplines. As our little rocket-powered turtle implies, CATIA KnowledgeWare, and specifically template-driven design approach, allows our CATIA customers, such as you, to take something that is slow and very repetitive, very mundane and time-consuming, and make it faster, a lot faster, and a lot better. CATIA KnowledgeWare is a suite of products, and each product has a different purpose. You don't have to do the whole thing, and they are scalable. The four columns represent the general value areas of CATIA KnowledgeWare. Enforce, Optimize, Validate, and Automate. And each one has different KnowledgeWare products associated with it. We're going to now focus on the Enforce column, which includes the CATIA KnowledgeWare products for template-driven design. Let's talk for a minute about how to use CATIA KnowledgeWare templates which is as easy as one, two, three. First, we use Knowledge Advisor, or KWA, to embed knowledge in the design through formulas, rules, reactions, and checks. This is very simple to do and will allow your organization to make better decisions and reach optimal error-free designs in a shorter amount of time. That's step one. Now it's time to create the templates through the use of CATIA Product Knowledge Template Definition or PKT. This will be done by your most senior users. So we'll use PKT to capture design data and methodologies for multiple reuse scenarios across projects. In addition, we'll define highly customizable intelligent template catalogs 
to encapsulate your company's corporate standards. This is step two, and now we're ready to leverage these rules, templates, and catalogs across the design and engineering community to incorporate a template-driven design methodology. As promised, we will now use the Template Runtime License, KT1, to utilize these intelligent, adaptive templates that were created in Step 2 across the extended enterprise through the catalogs that we defined. These templates support the propagation of standardized design methodologies and corporate know-how, including your intellectual property, providing designers with timely, direct access to parts and assembly libraries. In a moment, we'll see a video clip that shows some of the value in utilizing CATIA KnowledgeWare templates for designing a product. We'll see that the use of templates within the design, simulation, and validation phases will allow the designer to quickly and efficiently consider various design iterations within a few seconds that might otherwise take hours or days to do manually. To create the rear lamp for a new car, this designer relies on expertise gained from previous projects done in the company. Efficient design practices have been captured, optimized, and stored in CATIA V5 to define template elements which can be reused to begin a new project. Thus, the user does not have to start from scratch to ensure conformance of the new design. Let's begin the video. Here we have a designer who needs to design the reflective lens for a taillight assembly. To do this, he will first insert a geometric template of a predefined and fully parametrized parabolic surface with embedded knowledge that will represent the shape of the reflective lens. This is picked from a shared library of components. Characteristics such as size and position are under user control thanks to parameters, so the designer makes some modifications to the size of the surface and the focal offset length. The designer then inserts another template to instantiate a geometrical pattern of reflector elements onto the parabolic surface. The pattern is comprised of a great number of reflector elements and is morphed onto the support surface and created in a matter of seconds. You can see there are numerous user-defined inputs such as the size and number of reflector elements which can be adjusted by the designer during instantiation of the template. The designer makes the appropriate changes to expand the grid in both the X and Y directions to be slightly larger than the diameter of the fixture. The designer then modifies a parameter to install a hole for the bulb and defines the appropriate radius. Then he splits the surface to fit it to the light assembly. Next, he invokes a third-party CATIA partner solution called Optus to simulate a light reflection in order to check the photometric properties of the reflector surface. It checks compliance with official regulations thanks to an integrated set of validation rules. The definition and results of the simulation are integrated into the CATIA V5 tree structure, thus allowing native associativity with the geometrical design. Review of the results shows that the reflector design must be adjusted in order to comply with official regulations. So the designer returns to the template grid to change the size of the panels. Doing this manually would take hours or days, but the fully parameterized template allows him to simply redefine the size of the small panel in seconds. Modifications in the par parametric design are automatically propagated to the simulation operation and a new report is produced now showing compliance with the expected standard. Finally, an additional check is provided thanks to realistic rendering of the new lamp. This completes the full virtual experience showing how knowledge-assisted design, simulation, and validation ensure a faster, safer, traceable, and cost-effective process. The value proposition here is the use of fully parametrized templates to allow easy modification of numerous user-defined values to quickly drive an efficient and acceptable design. This saves a great deal of time, improves quality, and allows more design alternatives to be considered. In this case, a single template can be created and fully leveraged for numerous light fixture designs. The packaging for CATIA KnowledgeWare template-driven design consists of three products within the CATIA version 5 classic portfolio. This is the portfolio that includes the configurations MD2, HD2, etc. These three products, KWA, PKT, and KT1, as shown here, can be purchased as add-on or shareable. 
These same three products are also available within the CATIA V5 PLM Express portfolio, as shown here. If you are a CATIA PLM Express customer, your CAT license, which is your base configuration, already includes the most valuable asset amongst these three products, which is KT1. So all CAT users would already have this product, and you need only acquire a single license of CATIA Knowledge Template, or PKE. This PKE license includes both KWA and PKT, giving you everything you need to do template-driven design. A very large percentage of our CATIA customers leverage the value provided by CATIA Knowledgeware, and a large subset of those customers utilize Knowledgeware for template-driven design. Here are just a few of the many reference customers who speak publicly about their successes. And here are a few more reference customers, again specifically for template-driven design through CATIA Knowledgeware. This concludes the 10-minute guide to CATIA Knowledgeware for template-driven design presentation. We want to thank you for your time, and we would ask you to contact us if you have any questions or need any additional information on how CATIA template-driven design can help your organization to capture design-specific rules and requirements, preserve corporate expertise by reusing proven designs, increase quality, personal productivity, and innovation, and shorten design cycles to allow quicker design generations. Thank you again.